Innovator XABG here bringing you back with another player career mode episode and today is our international debut and I can't believe it's come this quick but at 68 overall and four episodes into the first season we've managed to find ourselves in the Australian squad and yeah I mean we had to sit out the first game but don't worry the second game we are playing against USA but yeah I had to sim this game and I wasn't expecting much from, well, Mexico of all teams, because uh, our teams, well, if you have a look at it, um, I think Ange Postecoglou, or um, the Australian coach, has picked quite of an old side, you could say that, I mean, an, um, an older side, no disrespect to the players in there, but um, yeah, not as young as the one that went to the World Cup, obviously, but Mexico do get the victory over Australia in, I'm I presume it's in Australia, I suppose. But yeah, um, following that, we do advance to towards the USA game. And Mile Jednak is suspended, as you can see up there. The Australian captain is suspended. But yeah, um, looking really nice in the Australian kit. And I must say first though, I think if anyone's actually confused why I'm playing for Australia. And I've got a British accent. I do live in Australia, of course. And I thought it'd be a lot easier to get into the Australian team and have a lot of optimism rather than going to the English team and do shite as they always do. But yes, um, we must progress forward. And this game against USA is going to be, well, probably the toughest game um, of my career, I guess, because it's against a quality opposition. And it's our international debut. Like, right? there's no more pressure than that. And I think we've got to kind of compete against Dario Vizicic for the spot and yeah this is going to be quite an interesting game but you know I'm not really hoping for you know like a perfect game this is just my debut it's put my feet into the water but we do very well early on here to get this really lovely pass down and Duke doesn't really do much with it but the header is connected there and it ends up being quite a nice cross but it's really nice there play we were able to create from that through pass and here we do end up you know having some nice passing here and the Australian side to be honest actually looks quite quality when on the pitch of them and in a bit I tried to take a shot and it does end up coming out well because Robbie Cruz is right on the end of that and it's not offside luckily and we we're able to get a goal against USA and unlucky that shot didn't go in it'd be a really nice swerving shot but the goalkeeper did well and it ends up going in the net and Robbie Cruz scores the first goal of the game and I must admit this USA side did look extremely um, weak in terms of like um, I'm surprised Brad Guzan wasn't in goal or like the attack it, there's a lot of unfamiliar names not sure whether that's just mine on my behalf but yeah we do take a really nice dribble here and we about to unleash and see if we get our first goal of the season but it just doesn't happen and I did find that this well, this game was a lot easier than the games we played for odd ends and uh, the Danish time which we are currently on loan for because I was basically put in the cam position which I well, put myself into at the start of the season which I requested to play at and odd ends play me at just the CM position and I'm allowed a lot more freedom at the cam position but yeah, at half time it did stay at 1 1. But coming out of the half, you can see pretty much <laughs> on the start of the second half, we do create a really nice chance here. As Mitchell Duke once again goes to the wing rather than going centrally. And we have another shot. And I thought that was going in. But once again, they're denied by the uh, height or quality of the shot, I suppose. But yeah, we end up being really disappointed there because I thought we would have got the first goal. It's a perfect strike, perfect setup play. And once again, we're operating down the wing pretty well. And we're just making a lot of problems for USA. And this Australian side has ended up doing really well here to get that cross in. And nothing comes for it, unfortunately. Which is a real shame. But USA, hardly having any chances, finally end up having 
some sort of opportunity here. As uh, Dempsey, which is a familiar name, uh, passes it to Yedlin, another familiar name, and ends up going to Jones, which doesn't end up working out. But once again, USA are passing and passing, and they just, our defence just seems really soft, uh, rock solid. As you know, the Aston Villa defender heard, is doing very well in there. And as you can see, the crossing is just coming, <laughs> and that's just pr you know sh showcase proven of USA's lack of quality inside up because we're able to brush past them really easily. And you can see it very late on in the game we do get substituted for Dario Vidasic, are pretty much our competitor for the cam roll. And we did watch the rest of the game, which ended up nothing happening. And we did end up winning on our international debut, which was a really nice surprise. Because it was against USA, and you can see the Australian fans really happy about that achievement. And yeah, it was a really successful debut, and I thought it was probably one of my best games of the season. Um, probably just, let's say, just before the Bromby game we just played in the episode 3. You can see my passion, even though I wasn't really taken too seriously, because accomplishments don't really count for international games. It was 77, which was alright. And um, surprise, no key passes were displayed, although we did create some chances which um, led up to some, um, some, well, we created some passes which led up to some chances, basically, if I can speak properly. But yeah, I believe 7.2 rating, I think that was a pretty successful debut in the international shirt, and because we are pretty much, well, spent, we are able to sit out this game, and Odens were at home, uh, were at home to um, this, Danish Danish side and really to be honest we have had probably the most shocking home form you could ever ask for. I think we've lost our past two home games before this 3-0 and considering this side I think when I looked at the table was bottom of the table we should be winning these games and we look like we are struggling and you can see there we just lost 1-0 so I I guess that's positive for me because I'm guessing they're missing my play in a way. But yeah, this game is going to be probably the toughest game of the season. Probably just maybe on par of the Albor game, which is FC Copenhagen. Copenhagen, who underperformed last season in the Danish league, but are looking to get right back to their premium best. And it's pretty much the clash of the sponsors because I think they're both signed by Karlberg. But you see very early on. Copenhagen almost scored a goal, but the post denies that, and I'll, we were very lucky there to um, not concede a goal, because that was just dribbling and dribbling, and I think even I thought that was going to go in, but it just nipped off the post at the right time, at the right angle, and we were able to, cl well, not clear it out, but we were able to retain um, the even score, but yeah, down the wing, we're operating really well in this episode. And unfortunately, we won't be able to get anything in there. But as we take the throw in, we are, be able, we are able to create a play as we are given the ball from a nice back hill and we're able to skill past the defender. And unfortunately, that cross really doesn't come too much. But we do look a lot more threatening um, ever since that 3 0 win against Bronby. And you can see the nice passing, which eventually gets to me. And I'm not able to do much there as Copenhagen take it out. But to be honest, I was looking for at least a draw this game because our, oh, our home form is absolutely shocking. I thought our away form is even more shocking. I mean, we're winning most of our games away. And, um, yeah, we're very unlucky there for Copenhagen not to go in front. And it's the 52nd minute here. And you can see uh, my player running. I'm running into space, operating the wing again, which is kind of bizarre. But, yeah, we end up do creating a really nice dribble here. And so close to our first league goal. And to be honest, I think I've taken matters into my own hands in terms of creating or oh, scoring chances myself rather than creating them. And I created one right there, but it's a really poor shot on the end from the player who receives the pass. And in the 80th minute there, we are so lucky not to concede. And we end up getting this yellow card, and I couldn't actually find the foul, which... Um, gave us the other card, but luckily the replay did show that earlier on in that pass of the play, I, well, took out the player, which didn't look very um, malicious, but yeah, we 
end up drawing that game 0-0, which is a bit of a dull result, I guess. But to be honest, I'm quite glad with that because Copenhagen are such a quality side. And you can see the way we got thrashed by Albo, we should have done a lot better, really, in that game. But we really have uh, done justice to our team. And that 80% passing does show that we're improving slightly each game that goes by. But guys, I want to thank you for watching this episode. And I really do hope you enjoy this series. And make sure you kind of just say in the comment section below whether um, Odd Ends was the right choice for our, or let's say, um, for our player to go on lo loan for in the Danish League. And um, yeah, you can see Odd Ends here in the Cup game. Once again, I've simmed out, which I'm not too bothered about. The Cup game really doesn't get me much um, accomplishments. And you can see there a very early goal there from Larson. And <laughs> Pretty much every player in um, the Danish League seems to have the name Larson. But either way, um, yeah, this game does um, does get interesting because the opposition or the home side does get a red card, which means we're able to stay on top of them. But yeah, we do end up winning this game 1-0. And just like I said before, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys later.